Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 11th of November 2024. I hope you are feeling well, enjoying life as best you can, geared up and ready for the week ahead. If you have to be geared up and ready for the week ahead, I don't really need to be now. I've finished my work for this year kind of thing. <laughs> unfortunately, I say unfortunately, work equals money. So that's bad news for me, but I don't have too much more to do, I think. Uh, unless I get lucky. Uh, anyway, fingers crossed on that. So I've got a fairly empty day. I've uh, got a couple of things to do, but swimming and relaxation are high on the agenda for me. Um, and uh, what's going on with you? I hope it's going to be nice. What's going on in Sydney? Uh, a small school has won the major building design prize at the 2024 World Architectural Festival in Singapore. It's actually won building of the year. Uh, congratulations. Uh, it's really important. School architecture, I think, is incredibly important. Um, very important that buildings are light and airy and inviting for children. I mean, you know, education is super important, especially in these days when uh, it seems some people are against education. They want to keep the masses very uneducated. Uh, and it's working. Uh, so, you know, it's very important to educate children in the best possible way. And one thing you need to do is make it inviting. I just thinking in contrast to my own education, uh, primary school and secondary school were both very ancient buildings. I mean, you know, Victorian and before architecture, Georgian architecture. I mean, and uh, when I think about it now, it's when I think about how I felt, I always disliked the buildings themselves. They were always very uninviting, you know, those um, almost church-like, uh, for my secondary school, my grammar school, was kind of a, almost church-like setting. I hated it. I really hated the atmosphere, those horrific radiators to try to keep the school warm and those horrible windows and old-fashioned doors. And I can just see it now. <laughs> I just think how awful it was. Really very, very uninviting place to, to go. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, modern schools, by contrast, are very well designed, I think, in a lot of places. Of course, they have to be given the money to, you know, allow this to happen. I'm, I'm just looking at the pictures of this uh, school. Uh, it's named Darlington Public School. And the, the pictures are kind of interesting, but uh, I can't. there are only a couple of photographs on the, on the uh, Guardian's article here. I'm not sure it's the greatest design. I quite like something. Some aspects look interesting. but can't really see from the, the, the limited photographs available. It does look light and airy. That's a great thing. But it does also look kind of large, extremely large. Uh, and I think that can kind of be a problem for small children. You know, just physical size of buildings can seem intimidating. Do you remember... You know, uh, we can't really remember. I, f I don't have much memory of when I was young, to be honest with you. But, but I, you know, just size of buildings can seem intimidating, I think. Uh, I do remember once going back <laughs> to, in the UK, going back to my primary school to pick up my nephew or something. Or, or there was some reason I had to go and actually went inside and saw the tiny chairs. And I thought, why are their chairs so small? <laughs> I couldn't really work it out. I don't remember what what happened there. <laughs> and of course, the chairs weren't small. The chairs were the same approximate size. Somehow or another, I'd grown, you know, a, 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 a meter plus uh, in those years. Anyway, good luck to uh, public school architects. Uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? We've got Oh, we've got, it's Monday. Sorry, I've got to explain how to play the game. Welcome, newcomers. Why am I talking about architecture? Because I talk about anything on this channel. This is my chat and Sudoku puzzle channel where I talk about anything, quite often politics, but not always politics. Anything that takes my fancy, really. Anything I'm in the mood to talk about. And then I have a game of Sudoku with you. And on Mondays... Uh, beginner's day so I explain the rules on how we play Sudoku and I'm going to do that right now because it's a lovely game of logic um, how what do we see at the top here plenty of blue squares now highlighted in blue 
um, nine squares actually. If you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine squares across. And guess what? Nine squares down, because it looks like a square, and it is a square. It's a nine by nine grid. But more than that, we have these small kind of sections of three by three, right? They're outlined in these black lines. Now, what is the object of the game? I think you can guess before anybody tells you. I think I might have guessed before anybody told me the first time I played Sudoku, but you can see numbers and we see empty squares. So the object of the game is to fill in the empty squares with numbers. Lowest number is one, highest number of ni is nine. Why is that? Single digits only, because we've got nine squares in every column, row, and small three by three block. Now the point is, the way that we solve the game is that each number can appear once only in its column, its row, or its block. So we have one, four, five, and nine in this block already. So the other empty squares cannot be one, four, five, or nine. They have to be the other numbers so that we have the whole series from one to nine. Got it? Okay, it's not that difficult to understand. Seven blocks across here. Blocks across? What am I talking about? I mean, we have seven in this row, so seven cannot reappear in this row. So none of these three squares can be seven. We've got seven here. Get out any digit sevens. You're not allowed in here. So this square and these three squares are already blocked because of these two seven. And guess what? We've got a seven down here saying, get out, out of my face. No seven allowed up here. There is only one empty square. There's only one place where the seven can go. It's got to go there. So we know that the seven is in that square there. There's nothing else. There's, it has a solute, one single solution. <coughs> Excuse me, this game. There is only one solution so if you find a single square where the only place where that digit can go you can put it in immediately you don't have to look for other numbers or worry that you've got it wrong you haven't got it wrong seven blocks down here now none of these three squares can be seven seven blocks down here these two squares can't be seven where's the empty square it's here is that where the seven goes yes it is okay seven you see how we're using the numbers that we just put in as well to help us seven blocks across here seven blocks across here in this particular block which does not contain seven yet it does now seven up here seven down here seven across here you're getting the hang of this okay it's so easy isn't it seven across here seven up here seven across there and there we go now, in fact, there aren't any more digit sevens to find on this board because if you check every single row has a seven, every single column has a seven, and every one of these blocks has a seven. So there aren't any more to find because there are exactly nine of every digit on this board. Okay, so we don't have to look for any more sevens. We can forget seven, put it out of our life. Imagine the seven was never really part of your life and you've forgotten digit seven already. Sorry, digit seven. Life is just like that. Now, uh, let's see, we've got nine blocking down here and we've got nine across here. That's going to give us digit nine in that square. And we're gonna take that nine again and go back up to the top, nine up here. Where's the empty square? That's where our nine goes. Um, we can't always be th that precise. For example, when we look up here and we see nine blocking across here and here, we have two empty squares. So we can't find the actual nine in the, from the information that we have there. Not yet. Uh, and when we look down here, we see nine blocking across the nine up there. We've got another two possibilities for nine, so we can't find the nine there. On the other hand, on this side of the grid, we can find a nine. So we'll go nine across here and nine across here, and we'll find our nine down here. But we can't work out this stuff in the middle for digit nine just yet. We have to come back a bit later. Now, there are two empty squares in this column. Now, this is usually a good way to find numbers. If you've only got two digits missing, see what they are is my recommendation. So what have we got? We've got one, we've got two. Do we have a three anywhere? No. Do we have a four anywhere? No. Just show you that we've got the others, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this has to be three and four, that's all that's left. Now, I'm hoping you've jumped ahead of me and you've spotted that. Is there any way this can be a three and the answer is, mm, I don't think so. No, 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 because we've got a three here. So three blocks across here, doesn't it? So this square can't be three. That has to be three. And now there's only one number left. Now we have the entire series of one to nine in this column. So we don't have to worry about this column anymore. Just everything else. Right. Okay. 
doing quite well now. Uh, what else? So, like I say, it's, I mean, I have no idea, right? By the way, I don't play these games ahead of time. So I don't know what the answer is yet. I'm still looking for the answer. Uh, but when I see like three empty squares in a row like this, I'm going to look and see what they are. Now I've got one, three, four, five, seven, and nine. So it means that what I'm looking for are two, six, and eight. They have to be the numbers that are left for this whole series of one to nine, two, six, and eight. And I want to come to this square here. Now remember, two, six, eight in these three squares. Now, question here, can it be two? Answer, no. Can it be eight? Answer, no. In fact, twice, no, because we've got two eights blocking it. So we know it's not two or eight. So as I just said, two, eight, and six in this row, if it's not two or eight, it's got to be six. Can't be anything else, right? We now would look and cross to see if we could get our 2 or our 8. And the answer is no, we can't. Not at this stage. So we just have to leave this. But we will keep in mind that this is 2 and 8 for later on because it will probably be useful. Well, it will be useful at some time, but just not right now. We've got 6 blocking down here. Well, that's no good, you say, because now there are two empty squares for six. And look, there's no sixes. There aren't any sixes across here saying where the six goes. But that's OK, because I don't want to actually find the digit here. I want to find the digit somewhere else. So six has got to be in one of these two empty squares here right now. If six is here, it can't go anywhere else in this column. And if six is there, it also can't go. Sorry, I lost the thing. Six is there. It also can't go anywhere in this column. So we're going to block up here. And now we've got six blocking across here and we've got six blocking across here. So we can get ourselves a six in this square, even though we didn't find the six down here. But we know it was limited to just one of two squares. That's the kind of uh, way of thinking that you're going to need to develop to uh, build on your Sudoku skills. We've got three blocking across here. That's going to give us three in that square there. And uh, what else? We've got one blocking across here, one across here. I'm just doing random digits now that happen to catch my eye. There are two numbers missing here. What are they? Numbers we don't have yet are one and four. So we have to look for any ones or fours up or down here and we see a one here blocking up there so we know that the one goes there and we know that the four finishes this block so now we've got a complete column down here and we've got a complete block here um, but we've still got everything else to look for now once again now we're left with only two squares in this row so we should find out what's missing and when we look we discover it is uh, two and five now, can this be a 2? Yes. Can it be a 5? Uh-uh, no way. So it has to be a 2, and this has to be a 5. Now, only two squares missing here. This is 2 and 8. We've got 2 blocking across here, so we know that our 2 is here, and our 8 is here. And I said that the 2 and the 8, when this, these two squares would come in handy later, now we know that's a 2. This has to be an 8. You don't have to remember that. You can just look along the line here and see that it is an eight. And in fact, I'm, I've got a very, very bad memory and I can't really remember these digits or games at all. Uh, but anyway, there is now one empty square in this column. One, two, we don't have a three anywhere. So that has to be the missing number. As soon as you find, if you're counting through and go one, two, there is no three. Clearly that has to be a three. You don't have to count the other numbers. You're just wasting time really. Three blocks across here and three blocks up there, that's going to put a three into that square there. Right now, okay, there are three empty squares here, so I should have a quick look and see what we need. Now it's going to be either for this row or this block, but it's going to be the same numbers, it doesn't matter. So the missing numbers, okay, let's see the row. Okay, let's look at the row first of all, we're missing one, four, and nine. And if you look at the cut of the block here, you'll see it's still one, four, or nine that's missing. 
Now, can we say which is which? We've got a one here, so we know that one is in those squares. We've got a four here, so we know four is in those squares. And we've got a nine here, so we know nine is in those squares. So the answer is no, we cannot find out which is the one, four, and the nine from what we can see on the screen at the moment. We have to get a bit more information first. So we have to leave that and come back. So where should we look next? Well, there are only three squares missing in this column also three squares in that block i'll do this column first shall we so what are we looking for we've got one we don't have two we don't have four and we don't have six. Oh, we do have six sorry one uh sorry we don't have one we don't have two and we don't have eight one two and eight are missing so uh what do we know we could say two blocks both of those squares there so we know the 2 is in this square here. Or we could say 1 and 8 block this square. And that's got to be a 2 because that's the only other number. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. Or you could have looked down here and found this is the only empty square after the 2 blocks down here. So many ways to find numbers in Sudoku. But what are we now? Oh, I said 1 and 8. I was wrong. I made a mistake. See? There we are. I'm telling you the beginner Sudoku and I made a mistake. I apologize. It was not one and eight that was missing. It was two, four and eight, but it didn't matter because two still blocked those squares. So that what I said was still true, but this is actually four and eight, not one and eight. So I have a one there and I didn't see it. Four and eight missing there. Now, uh, and if you want me to show that's true, one, two, three, there's no four, five, six, uh, five, six seven and there's no eight so this is four and eight now we know this is four and eight now there's only so whether this is four and this is eight or this is four and this is eight doesn't matter but those two squares are accounted for and this is has got to be the other number for the whole series which is a one or you could say one blocks up there and that'll give us a one there same thing the same answer will be found let's check out our three missing squares down here in case we got lucky what's missing four five and six are missing and yes we can do a couple of in fact we can do quite a lot here so four five and six this square first four five or six can't be four can't be five it's got to be six right because four blocks across here five blocks across here that's a six left with four and five now any news about this square no how about this square yes can't be five because five blocks across here so five is in that square and four is here so now we've completed this column and this block there are two empty squares over here let's see what's missing we're looking for two and three i think we've got three blocking here so that's the three and that's the two and now another row has hit the bit the dust Uh, here we're missing four and six, but I don't have enough information to tell me which is which. Here we're missing um, two and six in the bottom row, and we do have some. In fact, we have a two and we have a six, so you can do it either way. So either the six blocks here, and that means it goes there, or if you prefer, the two blocks down here, and the two is going to go in that square. It doesn't matter. You'll come up with the same answer. Missing numbers here are eight and three we've got the three blocking down there so there's our three and there's our eight now we'll take the eight eight blocking up here eight blocking up here and eight across here so there's our eight eight blocking across here gives us an eight in this square if i'm going too fast for you please rewind and watch again um uh Sometimes if you're if you're brand new to the game, it may seem a bit fast, like I'm finding the numbers a bit too quickly. So you can just watch it again and you'll see actually it wasn't that fast. Once you've played the game a few times, as you must do, uh, I don't mean this game, I mean just played Sudoku a few times. No good watching the videos alone only. You have to actually do it yourself. Threes block like this. Three across, three across, three up. That gives me a three in that square there. Uh, not much more to go now, is there? Shall we see that what three numbers are missing from this column? We're looking for two, four, and six, I believe. Let me just double check. I don't want to get it wrong again. Two, four, and six. And we've got two and four together. So what does it mean? It means this can't be two or four. It's got to be six. 
and we've got two blocking with this square now so that's going to be our two and this is going to be our four down there and the last number to place here is six right two empty squares in this row missing numbers are one and five any help on one or five no don't see any ones down here or fives here no so we just don't know at the moment two squares miss empty here two numbers missing what's missing uh four and five i think are missing here any fours or fives down here aha yes we've got five so we know that can't be five so that's going to be our five and now that's going to complete with a four now four blocks down here four blocks up here so we'll get ourselves a four in that square there nine blocks up here so we'll put nine here and then the last number for this block or this row is a one so we'll put that in there right not much more to go now uh, there are two empty squares here they have to be filled with one and four I see the four blocking across there so that gives me the four there and the one in that square one blocking across here one up here and one up there means that that is a digit one and now there's just one number left for the top here that's going to be a five let's put that in there's one number for this column uh, you'll look and see we don't have a nine yet so let's put the nine in now there's one number for the row the column the block and the entire grid and it's a digit two and now your first game is complete and you can go off and play some other sudoku now there are lots and lots of uh, easy level games on this channel uh, with explanation again and so try a few easy level games and then work your way up to the medium level puzzles they're in playlists on this sudoku channel there are thousands of games for you to play on this channel don't need to go anywhere do me a favor build up my views i'd like to make this youtube channel successful but it's not going to be unless you watch videos so thank you very much and subscribe bye bye